We finally know what's wrong with Orion's heat shield. After Artemis 1, which ended two years ago, NASA noticed that the heat shield of Orion had behaved strangely. It worked, and astronauts would have been fine if they'd been on board, but the heat shield material was cracking and coming off in chunks. NASA needed to figure out what was going on. And now, we know. Artemis 1 was the first mission in which NASA tried a new method of re-entering Earth's atmosphere, what's called skip entry. Basically, upon re-entry, the capsule enters the atmosphere and then lifts back up due to natural forces, and then it re-enters even more. It's a cyclical process that's a way to bleed off speed at the high velocities that happen when you're coming back from the moon. During skip entry, re-entry temperatures vary. And during the lift time, what's called skip dwell, the temperatures are lower. Well, it turns out this variation in temperature was apparently causing gases to form within the heat shield. Because the heat shield wasn't very permeable, the gases built up and internal pressure built up as a result. That caused the cracking and uneven shedding. NASA was unaware of this before Artemis 1 because they did not have the capacity to test varied temperatures within the atmosphere upon skip re-entry. They have since developed that technology. NASA will modify the heat shield for Artemis 3 to be more permeable. Artemis 2 will have a modified re-entry profile that will reduce the skip dwell time, and NASA is confident that will take care of the problem. Artemis 2 has been delayed from September 2024 to April 2025 as a result of this investigation.